Hello everyone. A very good morning to all of you. Welcome to Olive Board. This is Arzu Kakkar. I hope you all are doing well. Things are fine at your place. And a very happy morning to Jaldi se session ko join kare. Have a cup of tea. I hope. Uh, sab uth gaye honge. Abhi tak to no bach chuki hai. Aur uh, yes. Kuch log working hai. Kuch aspirants non working hai. Right. कुछ रात को पढ़ने वाले हैं कुछ सुबह जल्दी उठने वाले हैं आई कैन सी सम गुड मॉर्निंग विशेज बाय एस नारायण एंड अभिषेक मिश्रा वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग बोथ ऑफ यू कैसे हैं आप गुड टू सी यू ऑन टाइम बहुत ही रेयर होता है ऐसा कि बच्चे एग्जैक्टली exactly नौ बजे ज्वाइन कर लें और जो कर लेता है बहुत अच्छा लगता है देख कर. जल्दी से सेशन को शेयर कर दे विद यदर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो और एक बार प्लीज मुझे चैट सेक्शन में इफ यू कुड कंफर्म इफ आई एम ऑडिबल विजिबल गुड मॉर्निंग संदीप आई एम गुड अभिषेक थैंक यू एंड प्लीज डू लाइक दिस सेशन ऑल्सो मार्क योर अटेंडेंस फर्स्टली पहले जाइए अपनी अटेंडेंस मार्क करो एंड लाइक इट डू लाइक इट और फिर उसके बाद आज के सेशन पे चलेंगे एंड विल मूव फॉरवर्ड विद करंट अफेयर्स दीज क्लासेज आर ऑन आर इन इंग्लिश ओनली प्रकाश ओके फाइन 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 चलिए सो आई थिंक वी शुड कंटिन्यू विद दिस लेक्चर नाउ आई यू ऑलरेडी गिव मी अ थम्स अप साइन इफ यू ऑलरेडी देन आई स्टार्ट द लेक्चर नाउ चलिए ग्रेट सो आई एम गेटिंग अ थम्स अप साइन सो एवरीबडी इज रेडी सो हेयर यू कैन सी द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which of the following is the theme of National Youth Superintendent of Police Conference and Police Expo? So, where? What is the theme of this particular event? This conference. You are having four options. Read the statements and give me the answer. Option A, option B, option C, option D. ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन डी एम आई नॉट गेटिंग द आंसर और हैव यू हैवन मतलब आई यू यू आर नॉट टाइपिंग इट वट इज द एग्जैक्ट केस ऑप्शन ए बी सी डी वट इज द थीम ऑफ दिस इयर्स नेशनल यूथ सुप्रिंटेंडेंट्स ऑफ पुलिस कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड पुलिस एक्सपो मेक अ गेस हरियप क्या हो गया है ऑप्शन बी ओके ऑप्शन सी ओके मेक अ गेस ना दो डोंट नो प्लीज मेक अ गेस दिस इज दिस इज द ओनली एजेंडा दिस इज द ओनली एजेंडा ऑफ दीज सेशन आई रिक हम्बली रिक्वेस्ट यू टू एवरीबडी हैर If you don't know the answer, just make a guess. And while making a guess, you can write G in front of it. I I understand that you are making a guess. Make a guess. Hurry up! For all those who don't know the answer, make a guess. So many aspirants are coming up with dis different answers. Some are going with A. Some are going with C. I am seeing nobody is going with B. Only one of them is going with B answer. चलिए. But nevertheless, good to see. Uh, that you you are uh, not aware of it as in you are getting the wrong answer because now you will be able to remember it 
right so option b you can see innovation and research in cyber crime management drones and counter drones this was the theme of this conference this conference was the fourth edition right option b innovation research in cyber crime management drones and counter drones this is the fourth edition of this uh, conference and fourth edition ki theme ye thi where was this conference held that you will tell me in the comment sections later good morning bharti so please do remember who addressed the inaugural function of this conference union minister of state for home affairs but which edition was this fourth edition what was the agenda of this conference agenda was to make a to to focus upon the latest technologies right in the in the police sector in in the police services also uh, anti drone drone technologies surveillance equipments we should be better with having the latest communication equipments we should have advanced weaponry less than lethal technologies body armor vehicles that are required cyber crime management analytics proper honi chahiye so that there is effective delivery of the police services to the citizens summing up all those services that are basically for the effective delivery of the police towards their citizens this conference was focusing upon all those latest technologies right चलिए नाउ आर थीम तो नाउ यू विल बी एबल टू रिमेम्बर इनोवेशन एंड रिसर्च इन विच सेक्टर इन साइबर मैनेजमेंट इन ड्रोन्स एंड इन काउंटर ड्रोन दिस वॉज द फोर्थ एडिशन एंड दिस बेसिकली वॉज द थीम ऑफ द फोर्थ नेशनल यूथ कॉन्फ्रेंस राइट पुलिस कॉन्फ्रेंस सॉरी सुप्रिटेंडेंट ऑफ पुलिस कॉन्फ्रेंस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज और आर ट्रू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू शुगर इंडस्ट्री do share this session do like this session i am i am able to see most of you haven't like the session till yet acha sugar industry related kuch statements hai pehli keh rahi hai india has emerged as the world's largest producer and consumer of sugar and as far as export is concerned india is the world's second largest exporter of sugar both these statements are correct or none of the above c c c c a C C C C C C. So everybody is going with option C. Both these statements. India has emerged as the world's largest producer and consumer of sugar. You are absolutely right with this. India is the second largest exporter of sugar. You are absolutely right with this. So both these statements, option A and option B, both A and B are the correct ones. So yes. option c is the right answer now let us have a look over certain key points associated with it if you could please give me a minute yeah so india has emerged as the world's largest producer and consumer both of sugar and if i talk about export of the sugar we are at the second largest one why why we have achieved this particular state because of the there there were the international prices of the sugar wo bhi high ho gaye and at the same point of time we had the supportive government policies we made the diversion of sugar in a good manner right diversion of sugar to ethanol i hope that you all know how ethanol is prepared it is one of the biofuels we have covered biofuels in a particular session of current affairs i talked about 1g 2g 3g 4g biofuels but are biofuels so ethanol is one such biofuel how it is produced it is naturally produced naturally bhi kaise by fermentation of sugar right so yahan par you can see there is a diversion of sugar to the ethanol and i hope that you all know we have a blending target also so by 2025 we have the target for how much percentage of ethanol blending in petrol any guesses this also we have covered by 2025 we want ethanol blending of how much percent to the petrol 20% Twenty-five percent. 
anybody else it is 20 percent actually so by 2025 earlier it was 2030 but later on we revised it ki by 2025 we want uh, the blending of the ethanol to the petrol by 20 percent why we are doing that what will happen if we'll achieve it yeah correct 10 percent is achieved in 2022 right why what what is the agenda why we are why we are having these blending targets what will happen what will happen any idea a major one point only one point i i'm asking any idea for it carbon emissions will be less okay right the ma this space up says other you can say the major impact will be on the major impact the direct influence make guess no make guess you will you will make even the guess will went wrong but why are you restricting yourself for not trans, uh, answering try to write whatever you coming is in your mind good morning ilakya prices what what kind of prices the price will be reduced okay fine i got your point so the main main point is you will reduce your import of petroleum right so currently india is importing today india imports 85 percent of its oil but by blending of ethanol into this gasoline you can reduce the you're reducing the amount of petrol no you are reducing the dependence on imports you are reducing the dependence on the polluting products polluting petroleum the expensive one right are you getting my point so this this is the major impact that will happen now moving uh, back to uh, your sugarcane industry so it is basically divided into two major areas of production one in the north and other in the south in north you can see up bihar haryana punjab major areas of production of sugarcane and in south you will see maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu and andhra pradesh if i talk about south india so the tropical climate is so much good in south india that it has the sugar that is uh, produced there it is having the high sucrose content the yield is very high as compared to the north india but what what is the significance as we have already told you it is important for biofuel sugar is having multiple byproducts that can be used it is a very labor intensive sector also right but there are certain issues also as it is very labor intensive the recovery rate also sometimes is low there is high production cost that is required right the remuneration for the farmers it get delayed there in some parts of the world there there is low yield as compared to the other parts right now moving on to the next one here you can see in the map up maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu bihar where you will see the production of sugarcane where was india's sixth in uh, indian mobile congress held where was india's sixth indian mobile congress held option a b c d option d everybody is saying new delhi answers please New Delhi is absolutely correct. Option D, New Delhi. So in New Delhi, sixth Indian Mobile Congress was held. It is the Asia's largest telecom festival. The ministry concerned is the Information and Technology Ministry, organized by the Department of Telecommunication and Cellular Operators Association of India. 
So India Mobile Congress is basically that particular forum in Asia where the industries, government, academicians and all other ecosystem players who can play a major role in best of technologies like internet of things, artificial intelligence, they come up, they discuss all these latest industry technology trends, right? And it recently got concluded with a grand success. So we all know that there was a historic launch of the 5G services also. This, this event also marked this launch. We want, what do we want? We want to go global. So there uh, the government urges uh, the organizers to set up a committee in 30 days. And you should go global. All your plans should be such that you achieve your vision. What is our vision? Digital India made in India, addressing all those technology challenges that are coming up in our way, solving them in all the areas, healthcare, education, communication, commerce, financial inclusion, making people aware of it, right? It is our India's strength and we need to actively promote it. We need to make sure India is a hub where all the technology products are manufactured here only. So these all were the main, uh, you can say, points and endeavors of the Indian Mobile Congress, right? Now moving on to the next question, who among the following would be the national icon for the Election Commission of India? Akshay Kumar, Kangana Ranaut, Pankaj Tripathi, Anupam Kher. Pankaj Tripathi, option C. Only two or three of them are giving the answers. I don't know what rest are doing. Are you all feeling sleepy? Is that so? Correct. So we to only have we have covered the PCI Ajay Bhado in, in the previous lectures. Option C. Pankaj Tripathi, absolutely correct. The national icon for the election commission of India would be Pankaj Tripathi. Option C. Right? So election commission recently launched an awareness campaign. The name of the campaign is Mat Data Junction where there will be a 52 episodes and people will be aware of they will be there will be a combination of information and entertainment also so that the audience is informed about the uh, about their votes about the voters about so, so 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 as to connect the voters across the country with the help of radio that is why this voter awareness program mein, there is election commissioner of india rajiv kumar launching it and in collaboration with all india radio very important because with the help of radio only this particular uh, program is aiming to connect to the voters right I hope that you all are eligible here to vote and you know the value of vote. Also, the agenda is the information will be provided. It will be all related to how free and fair elections in a transparent manner are conducted, making elections inclusive, one key everybody should go and vote, right? And uh, as I told you, this process will be completely of 52 episodes. And this 52 episodes will be covering all the aspects of the election and the related process. Pankaj Tripathi, as you all know, uh, would be the national icon, right? Now moving on to the next one. Which of the following body has organized the scheme of fund for the regeneration of traditional industries, the Furti Mela? In short, you can say. A. Okay. KVIC, you are saying Khadi and Village Industries Commission. A is a guess. Very good to see that you are making a guess. Wonderful. Anybody else? Can I expect answers? Option A. Okay. KVIC. So everybody is going with option A here and uh, some of you are making guess also and so your okay can I expect answers from anybody else or should I wait for it or jinnone bhi answers de diye hai I should move forward with their answers. Kyuki knocking your doors each time please please do answer please do answer sometimes becomes ki yaar answer de do na please. 
क्योंकि इफ यू विल आंसर नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो यू आर गोइंग टू मेक दी सेशन इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल्सो वेयर आई बी गेटिंग डिफरेंट आंसर्स एंड सेकेंड ऑफ ऑल यू आंसर विल गेट रॉन्ग ना यू आर डेफिनेटली मतलब आई मार्क माई वर्ड्स टू थाउजेंड परसेंट यू विल गोइंग टू बी रिमेंबर इट ऑप्शन ए इज एब्सोल्यूटली द राइट आंसर खादी एंड विलेज इंडस्ट्री कमीशन इज द राइट आंसर सफूर्ती बेसिकली इज अ स्कीम ऑल्सो सफूर्ती मेला के बारे में तो आई टॉक अबाउट इट बट सफूर्ती बेसिकली टॉक्स अबाउट कि सी देर आर इन अ पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेट से देर आर डिफरेंट पर्सन हु आर वर्किंग अपॉन अ सेम प्रोजेक्ट फॉर दैट मैटर फॉर हैंडी क्राफ्ट और फॉर जो जो नारियल की बेसिकली देर इज अ रस्सी ऑल्सो वो होती है उस उस पर काम करना सो एवरीबडी इज गोइंग विद देर ओन देर आर आर्टिजन हु आर वर्किंग राइट सो वाई नॉट टू फॉर्म अ क्लस्टर लेट एस कम्बाइन दैम फॉर्म अ क्लस्टर दिस इज अ क्लस्टर वन नाउ सो गवर्नमेंट के लिए इट विल बी ईजी सो एज टू फाइनेंस दैम प्रोवाइडिंग दैम दी बेस्ट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स राइट हेल्पिंग दैम इन इन देर फाइनेंशियल कोस्ट कोस्ट ऑल्सो वैल्यू एडिशन करना टू देर प्रोडक्ट्स enhancing their income so that is why these clusters are formed right therefore this safurti comes in now we are discussing safurti mela that held at delhi hat organized by uh, kvic it is a statutory body yes under which ministry msme ministry so under this mela all those artisans from different clusters they are coming up so there are uh, they are coming up with a product they made so that you can showcase them and uh, the clusters that i told you they are from different sectors traditional sectors khadi coir agro products handloom till now safurti has supported 498 clusters benefiting 3 lakh artisans are you getting my point are you there with me right please do focus here also I, it is my request so furti mela will welcome how many so in this mela na there so basically to in safurti scheme we are helping 498 clusters we have so far but in this mela total 100 artisans will be welcome from 50 clusters covering all the 28 states so the agenda is across the country you are bringing the uh, artisans so that they can showcase their products during this festive time that is going upon it will open new opportunities marketing hogi best of sales hoga for these particular products right so this was the complete agenda according to the unctad report india's economic growth is to decline by how much percent in 2022 according to unctad report india's economic growth is to decline by how much percent in 2022 option d a b c d come up with the answers now Five point seven percent. I'll not waste the time of the ones who are giving the answers there only. I'll be waiting for five. Now we are starting a timer. ये तो अब करने वाली हूँ मैं. I'm starting a timer. I'll I'll count till five, and for all those who will answer, I'll move ahead with them. Option D, five point seven percent. You are absolutely correct. Five point seven percent is the right answer. Can I ask a question? can i ask one question if you allow me apart from it 5.7% is the right answer so anybody here if they could tell me where is the headquarters of unctad where is the headquarters of unctad any idea where is the headquarters of unctad geneva switzerland correct absolutely right and these questions can be asked right so please don't skip that when was it formed i am talking about unctad please do remember it was formed on 
30th of December 1964. How many members? 195 members. Headquarters, Geneva, Switzerland. Now, if I talk about UNCTAD ki full form, I hope that you all know. United Nations Conference on Trade and what D stands for? United Nations Conference on Trade and what D stands for? United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Absolutely right. So what is the agenda of UNCTAD? So the agenda, the objective of UNCTAD is so as to assist these developing countries developing states in the world for a better trade so as to promote their interest so as to support the developing countries their all efforts in the trade in the investment making all the principles inclusive sustainable right so this is a, it is an intergovernmental organization now coming to the report so they are saying in 2022 India's economic growth will decline to 5.7%. And what are the reasons that they are uh, mentioning? Two reasons. Higher financing cost is the first reason. And weak public expenditure is the second reason. So according to them, see, we all are seeing, abhi to repo rate bhi increase ho gaya hai. With the increase in repo rate, the interest, the loans if anybody is taking, the organization, the parties, the individuals are taking, the interest rate will be increased, right? So nobody, basically, people, jo hai, they will restrict getting uh, the loans or borrowings, basically, because interest rate will increase. If interest rate goes increasing, people will restrict themselves for, from borrowing. And what all will happen? Investments will be reduced. It will impact your cost of production, right? Because there will be higher financing costs and at the same time, point of time the public expenditure the government expenditure is weaker yes government is focusing upon the rails and roads but still on the other sides the, there is weak public expenditure according to the forecast by the UNCTAD so they are saying in 2023 the GDP will be uh, uh, decelerate to 4.7 percent growth right we all know so India experienced an expansion of 8.2%. But this 8.2% expansion in the GDP growth in 2021, itna zada kaise hua? Because earlier in 2020, you all know we were having COVID ka situation, right? So there our GDP growth basically was in negative. So in comparison to that, agar aap kuch bhi aapne kiya, so definitely it is going to show a boom. Right? Because earlier to aapki growth hi was negative. That was 8.2%. Are you getting my point? In 2020, it was minus May. So in 2021, it will definitely be in numbers like 8.2, 8.95, right? But in 2022, they are projecting that it will decline by 5.7% in 2023 by 4.7%. Right? So this is the uh, projected growth rate of UNCTAD. Please do remember. It is not by IMF. Repo rate to I have already uh, covered in the previous lecture, if you all remember. Mene bahut achche se I covered the repo rate also that day only when this news came. According to NPCI, National Payments Corporation of India, there will be no charge for rupee credit card use on UPI for transactions up to 2100, 2500, 2000, 2600. Come up with the answers, make a guess if you don't know. Absolutely correct. Option C, 2000 is the right answer. So basically, what is the news? No, we all are using UPI. We all know that. Today is a lot more. So the, the news says that 
rupee credit card when linked with uh, the transactions going with the upi if you are adding your account number basically of your credit card now right now you are doing upi with your credit card you are linking your credit card with the upi transactions on the use of that credit card if you are making a transaction up to rupees 2000 there will be no charge right so rbi has approved the rupee credit cards with the upi so that jo ki क्रेडिट कार्ड की लाइफ साइकिल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द कस्टमर्स इट आल्सो गेट्स डिजिटली एनेबल्ड अभी तो फॉर व्हाट व्हाट यू ऑल डू व्हेन यू आर गोइंग फॉर शॉपिंग यू यूज योर क्रेडिट कार्ड्स राइट नाउ योर क्रेडिट कार्ड्स आल्सो आर बीइंग लिंक टू द यूपीआई यू कैन गो विद द यूपीआई यू कैन डू यूपीआई यू कैन से विद 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 द क्रेडिट कार्ड आल्सो कस्टमर विल गेट दैट ईज दैट बेनिफिट द अपॉर्चुनिटी सो हैज टू यूज द क्रेडिट कार्ड विल गो ऑन इंक्रीजिंग राइट बट With the transactions up to rupees two thousand, there is no such uh, uh, charge charge basically for the credit card use. Who among the following assumed the charge as the chairman of Gale? Piyush Bansal, Sandeep Kumar Gupta, D P Mittal, Suresh Garg. A B C D. who has assumed the charge as the chairman of gil wrong answers are also welcomed hai at least in my session sandeep kumar gupta you are going with sk gupta okay option b b b absolutely right sandeep kumar gupta is the right answer the one who is taking the charge as the chairman of gale what is gale gas authority of india limited public sector undertaking yes under the ownership of which ministry ministry of petroleum and natural gas so basically it is the largest natural gas refining and handling business in india headquarters new delhi when was it found 1984 moving on Where is the headquarters of Election Commission of India? There was a great news on Election Commission. Pankaj Tripathi became the national icon, and we had Mat Data Junction launched by the Election Commission. So this question is an expected one. If you could tell me the headquarters of the Election Commission, New Delhi, option C, then you are absolutely right. Option C is the right answer. And also, please do remember if as Election Commission was so much in news. where when was it formed Nineteen fifty twenty fifth January. See, I am taking the expected time that is required for each question. If I do fata fat fata fat, well, this is not a fata fat series. No, I want everybody here. Even every single aspirant, if this session will be there, I will go with that much speed that is required so that everybody. could understand each and every point and we have the proper detailing of all the questions right so i think that i am going with the right speed if anybody else feels so should i go with the 2.5x wala speed i can do that also but cheeze samajh nahi aayengi the agenda is not to go with the high speed the agenda is so as to make you things clear 25th of january 1950 Which of the following bank launched Gram Seva program? Which of the following bank launched Gram Seva program? HDFC, SBI, Union Bank of India, PNB Bank. SBI. Everybody is saying so. Thank you, Abhishek. SBI, chalo. So I, I, I with this answer, I, I, I am taking Abhishek's answer as everybody's answer. If you are comfortable in this time, SBI is the right answer. State Bank of India recently launched Gram Seva program with the name of the program Gram Seva. gram means village seva means you all know seva seva hi hai so the agenda is for the comprehensive development of the villages 
in the areas like education health livelihood infrastructure till now gram seva program has adopted 100 villages across 16 states now they are going to the aspirational districts also and adopting the remote villages across those aspirational districts the six states are haryana gujarat maharashtra punjab tamil nadu and west bengal right so please do remember the six states also so it is launched under corporate social responsibility of the bank i'll talk about the corporate social responsibility in the next lecture also we'll have a understanding if anybody is having a doubt for it right so basically yahan par jo sbi ka agenda hai to work upon all such areas of of the uh, of the village so that you can develop it chahe wo skill development ho ensuring livelihood environment sustainability rural development every area will be worked upon moving on to the one liner so here your questions are sum up 16 states already they have taken now they are going with in this particular news they are going with other six states already they have taken 100 villages across 16 states now they are taking certain villages remote villages that will be there uh, basically uh, from from the six states correct to it is right i'll talk as i told you i'll talk about in detail about the csir csr the bare minimum is this only the companies jo hain there uh, they have to the basically yeah 2% of their worth they have to spend on csr every company ki kuch they have their social responsibilities also right i'll talk about it don't worry moving on to the one liners nobel prize in literature for 2022 it is awarded to any ernex please do remember for her courage and clinical ocuity when she uncovers the roots and strangements and collective restraints of the personal memory so all you need to remember is the one who received the nobel prize already i have taken just a second in the chemistry in the medicine i have covered it right Priya Srijesh and Savita Punia have voted FIH men's and women's goalkeeper of the year so simple question will be asked the name will be given and it will be asked the personality is related to which sports right national icon you have already covered pankaj tripathi and the uh, election commissioner rajiv kumar basically said in association with the eci that Uh, pankaj tripathi tripathi for his association with the election commission of india in making people aware about the voting awareness that is why pankaj tripathi is declared as the national icon when is breast cancer awareness month every year it is observed in the month of october the running month so october month is taken as the breast cancer awareness month right so please do remember that also and i think today 7th of october yeah so this is the last day if you want to have uh if you want to basically go with the preparation of your regulatory exams you can get 35% off on it use the code fest for any regulatory body exam that you wish to purchase right chaliye so here i arzu kakkar wish everybody a very best of luck i hope you enjoyed the lecture as much as i enjoy daily teaching you and uh, thank you everyone take care good luck good wishes thank you and do do share it and do subscribe the channel as well thank you